I remember going over to my friend's house in 1999, and my friend was playing a couple games on his PC. He was playing Quake 3 and Half-Life. And I was playing Half-Life 2 at the time, and it looked so much different on his computer, and I wondered why. Is it because my friend had a 3D accelerator? He had the 3DFX Voodoo 3. This is the 3500. My friend had the 3000, which is a little bit slower. And they also released a 2000 model, which was the slowest. And um, besides a higher clock speed, the 3500 had the capability to watch and record TV on your PC, which was a new thing at the time. And so we're going to put this in an old Pentium 3 I have and take a look at some games. So this is a 650 megahertz Pentium 3 computer I have. And the AGP slot is the brown one. So it's going in there. And one thing that's kind of different about these graphics cards is um, this actually isn't an AGP slot. Uh, this one, or VG, sorry, VGA. This isn't a VGA slot. It has an external um, adapter that plugs in here. <clears throat> so this is the adapter I was talking about. It's got inputs, like your TV inputs, S-Video, and then VGA is plugged in here, and then that plugs into the computer. Ah, this computer is so slow. So here's some gameplay of Half-Life. This is in the software render mode, and it's like under 20 frames per second. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. So Please the, pick up your weapon and it looks really bad. It's station. really choppy. And then we'll enable the 3D effects mode, glide mode. Half-Life uses a mini driver. These are actually beta drivers I'm using because um, official drivers were never released for Windows XP. This computer has Windows XP. These drivers are supposed to be really good. It's like Wicked GL. So You'll now have we're to getting like 75 FPS. V-Sync is on. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It's a lot smoother. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels. Quake 2 is another game that I always thought looked completely different from software mode to 3D accelerated mode. This is software mode. Still, yeah, so now we'll switch since I died, we'll switch to the glide mode. One thing I noticed right away is that those look very different. See everything smooth out. Smooth the frame out.
First level of Quake 2. Crusher was a popular benchmark for Quake 2 that tests a 34 player deathmatch to 75 frames. So let's test this. So we got 38.9 FPS. It's at 1024 by 768. So now we'll look at one more game. We'll look at Quake 3 Arena. Welcome to Quake this Three is, Arena. This actually doesn't look bad. GL extensions gone. So the frame rate is a lot worse than the software mode. Crash. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Not over an item to pick it up. But turn that back on. And then 1024 by 768 was the sweet spot back then for graphics. And one thing about the Voodoo 3 is it can actually only do 16-bit color. But that was a limitation that 3D Effects said that their 16-bit color was really more like 24-bit. It couldn't do 32-bit color. But most games back then, a lot of games back then couldn't do 32-bit color anyways, like Thief 2. So, Enter the portal to be in combat. So, I don't know what the turn is, but it's not bad. So our average frame rate was 36. So the Voodoo 3 ran all those games well, even Quake 3, which was the most demanding game at the time. And I ended up building my own computer a year later, which had the much faster GeForce 2 GPS. But the Voodoo 3 will always be important to me in terms of my history as a PC gamer. It's what got me into building computers, upgrading computers, and all that. So thanks for watching my video. I'm going to play some more Quake 3.